Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now today I have here one of the most powerful smartphones that's ever been to my studio and that is the Red Magic 7S Pro. Now this device was actually released here in Malaysia about slightly more than a week ago and the price starts from RM3999 and I'm just going to unbox this very quickly although you can see that it's actually already unboxed. I've put everything back especially for you guys because I want to show you what you can expect inside this very interesting looking box. In fact, let's take a look at this very nice graphic on the top of the box as well. You have some cartoonish stuff going on there. I don't think that's actually cartoons, more like manga or anime or something like that. But yeah, let's unbox this right away and let me share with you a couple of my experiences. So as soon as you pop the lid, obviously you do see a red magic packaging over here. And this basically contains your casing. We also have a very, very long SIM pin ejector over there. So that's worth noting as well. And the case actually is a gaming phone kind of case. I like that because it's not your typical case. We have this uh, sort of like, you know, hole in the middle here that actually shows off the design of the phone because it looks really cool. So I'm going to put that down for now and let's bring off the phone itself. And there we go. This is the Red Magic 7S Pro. Again, we're going to put this down for a second because we want to see what else is in the box. You get this, uh, what do you call it? Scan to start some kind of thing, but I don't think you need that. Other than that, you also get a red cable in the box, guys. This is a Type-C to Type-C connector. Very cool. And last but not least, you get the 65 watt gun charger in the box. I like the fact that this is a fairly small size charger. So it's not something super huge like you see from other brands. But yeah, that's basically what you get in the box. All right, so let's just unwrap this guy really quickly. I'm just going to peel this off for fun then. Let's go. There you go. All right, so this is the phone itself, the Red Magic 7S Pro. While speaking, let me just pop that button so we can start up the device itself. Now, there's actually a couple of uh, interesting things that you can find on the back here, which I'm not sure if you like it or hate it. Me personally, I kind of like it. I think it looks kind of cool here. So right in the middle, we have this sort of like camouflage kind of design going on here. And again, the case is supposed to show off that design in the center. Apart from that, you have this sort of transparent back panel, which I think looks amazing. It looks very good. I always, you know, follow for transparent kind of things here. And what's interesting is you have all the key specifications of the phone written on the back here. Here. So this is a 5000 mAh battery, so you guys know we do have a 64 megapixel main sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel um, macro lens, so that's in terms of the cameras. On the top here, you do have this fan that actually spins and there's RGB lighting going on at the back as well. As you can see, the number here shows that we have 20,000 RPM. So this little fan here actually blows quite a fair bit of wind out from the device itself. Of course, the main star of the show, we do have a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 in here. And like I said earlier on, just in terms of the RAM and the memory storage, we have 18 gigabytes of RAM and 512 GB of internal memory. Very, very cool. Right, so if you just move the phone to the side, I wanna show you guys a little bit more. We do have the volume rocker over here. This is the power button. You have your shoulder triggers. Now these are very sensitive. These are pressure sensitive kind of triggers here and they refresh at 540 Hertz. So it should be fairly sensitive. Apart from that, notice that we do have this very tiny grill here and that's actually for the fan. So let me just turn on the fan for now very quickly so you can see it. So we just tap that button and the fan will turn on. I did notice that similar to how a gaming laptop works, you will hear a bit of sound, but it's not that loud. It doesn't really affect your gameplay. And overall, I think it's quite acceptable. Air is actually going through here. It's being fed through these grills on the, on the back panel, and it goes in through the back panel and it comes out over here. So hope that makes sense. But yeah, it's cool that we do have this um, very nice RGB fan going on over there. Right, so moving on to the other side of the phone. Over here, we do have a gaming mode switch and this is actually very nice. Again, I like this kind of stuff because you know I play games quite a fair bit. So I'm gonna show you guys very quickly. Once you push this toggle, it goes into the Red Magic gaming mode and then you can you know configure a couple of items. You can set your sensitivity for the shoulder triggers. You can configure a lot of stuff here, just like how you can do it on a different kind of, you know, other kind of gaming phone. So I'm just gonna switch that off for now. And yeah, this is basically how the phone looks and feels like. Now, one really cool thing about the Red Magic 7S Pro is actually the display at the front. It is 120 hertz, but the most important thing here is that we do not have any form of notch at the top. Notice that it's a completely notchless or selfie cameraless kind of display, but the selfie camera is actually hidden at the back. We do have a 16 megapixel selfie camera, 
It's really hard to spot it. I don't really see it at all. Even when I rotate the phone from different angles, even when I'm outdoors, I do not actually see the selfie camera at all, unlike other phones. So pretty cool stuff there. If you are the kind of person like myself, I don't take a lot of selfies. I honestly kind of like it being hidden at the back there and I have this completely perfect, nicely done screen at the front. AMOLED display, by the way, again, 120 hertz, so everything is very smooth here. And honestly speaking, for gaming, it is just awesome. All right, so like I said, I've actually been carrying this phone around and using it for the past one week. And my experience has been really good with this Red Magic 7S Pro. Again, as a gaming phone, it will definitely be able to run all of your games at the maximum graphic settings. It also doesn't get very hot because we do have this fan helping out. Some of you might think it is a gimmick, but according to Red Magic, it is actually able to drop the temperatures down by about one to two degrees Celsius. And I think that somehow that actually helps out if you are really a hardcore gamer. All right guys, so that's pretty much a very quick view of the Red Magic 7S Pro. Overall, I think this is a very fun phone that you can see in the market today. Again, if you are a gamer, you would appreciate this kind of stuff, you know, transparent back panels, this kind of fan RGB going on. I know it's not really for everyone out there, but I actually spoke to a couple of my friends who really plays a lot of games and they kind of dig this kind of design, which I honestly think is quite cool as well. So with that said, uh, if you want to find out more about the Red Magic 7S Pro, I'll put a link down below. Again, it starts from RM3999. My model here, the 18 plus 512 is retailing for RM4999 and it comes with like extended one year warranty and there's like free gifts and all that. So I'll put the links down below if you want to find out about that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.